Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Charlemagne the God, Jess Hilarious. We are the Breakfast Club. Let's get in some front page news. Teslin Figaro, good morning. Good morning, DJ NV. Good morning, Queen Jess Hilarious. Hey, and Charlemagne the God. Peace, Tess. Mm-hmm. Now, let's jump right into it. Nikki Haley seems like uh, she has a new supporter. Yeah, she does apparently have a new supporter. Uh, Quickly, uh, we covered this earlier. Uh, We talked about former Governor Nikki Haley and presidential candidate. Uh, She said that there should be some term limits, and we covered that story here on the front page news. And Charlemagne agreed, and Nikki Haley responded. Let's take a listen. Uh, Governor, let's start with you. Did you know that Charlemagne the guy was a a fan? (laughs) My staff told me that he was a fan, but you know, I think he's a fan because it's just common sense. We should have term limits in Washington. We should have mental competency tests for anyone over the age of 75 or anyone over the age of 50. It doesn't matter. But the people who are paying their tax dollars for these men and women to go to D.C., they need to know they're at the top of their game. You a fan? I know. Why do I got to be a fan just because I agree with something uh, Something she said? <laughs> yeah, That's the only thing I don't like about politics, though, because when folks think yeah. you're on the side, when you agree with the other side, now you're a fan. No, I'm mm. just a taxpaying American citizen who can agree with someone regardless of what party they're in if they talk in common sense. Mm. That's mm-hmm. all. Mm-hmm. You a fan. Well, shout out to... Uh, <laughs> well, she, she is the former governor of South Carolina, but I'm, yeah, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of no politician. Mm-hmm. Pol- politicians right. don't need fans. There we <laughs> you know go. what I'm saying? Right. Fans. If you're Absolutely. a fan of a politician, there's something wrong. Mm-hmm. Now let's jump into Hunter Biden. What's going on with Hunter Biden? Yeah, big news on this. Uh, Federal prosecutors said Wednesday they intend to seek another indictment of Hunter Biden by September 29th. Now this is after we covered this again on Front Page News. This is after that plea deal fell apart uh, earlier on the tax and gun charges. Let's take a listen to Attorney General Merrick Garland break it down. I'm here today to announce the appointment of David Weiss as a special counsel consistent with the Department of Justice regulations governing such matters. Beginning in 2019, Mr. Weiss, in his capacity as U.S. Attorney and along with federal law enforcement partners, began investigating allegations of certain criminal conduct by, among others, Robert Hunter Biden. That investigation has been recently referenced in federal criminal proceedings in the District of Delaware. The appointment of Mr. Weiss reinforces for the American people the Department's commitment to both independence and accountability in particularly sensitive matters. I am confident that Mr. Weiss will carry out his responsibility in an even-handed and urgent manner and in accordance with the highest traditions of this department. Well, nobody is above the law. Not presidents, not president's sons, not president's friends. If he committed a crime, he got to be held accountable, right? Yep. That's it. Uh, what a what a time that we're living in, though. <laughs> we have back-to-back indictments of a former president, uh, Donald Trump. We have indictments and investigations for the current president's son. Mm-hmm. And just to kind of recap everybody, because I know it's so confusing because there's so many indictments in there, but I'll just say quickly, you know, what's the, what that's about. You know, remember he had those charges. He pled guilty. Um, they did a deal uh, for him to basically go to drug court, you know, to be able to kind of get off on that other charge. Mm-hmm. And the judge didn't like it. You know, she said, I don't, I feel like I'm doing something that may be unconstitutional. I don't want something to backfire. And I'm paraphrasing for you guys, par- uh, backfire down the road. And so uh, when they thought that 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 was going to go away, uh, that's when they said, no, we need to have somebody else look into this to make sure that he's, uh, you know, pleading guilty to the right charges and being held accountable on the things that he should. So this is what this is about. So we'll continue to follow that here on Front Page News. We ain't even get to the good part yet. Just think about it. It's only September 2023. Mm-hmm. Wait till September <laughs> next year. That's where we're going to be at the good part. We're going to be in the midst gonna of action. Mm-hmm. It's going to turn well, up. All right. Well, that is Front Page News. Thank you, Tesla. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. Absolutely. Everybody else, get it off your chest. 800-585-1051. If you need to vent, phone lines are wide open again. 800-585-1051. Get it off your chest. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Now it's time for front page news. Of course, Jess Hilarious is here, our Mm co-host, and Teslin Figaro. Good morning, Tez. Good morning, Charlemagne the God, Jess Hilarious, the Queen of the Rebels Club, and DJ Envy. Good morning. Now let's jump right into it. Donald Trump, he wants to uh, talk about his mugshot, huh? 
Yes, Donald Trump wants to talk about his mugshot, but I want to say this quickly to the caller that called in about the price of coffee. She's not tripping. It actually did increase nearly 20 percent uh, this year. So I want to let her know that. Wow. Uh, but Trump, uh, with his mugshot, he's doubling down uh, about obviously he believes the election is still rigged and he called Democrats some communists. Let's take a listen. Is there anyone on the planet that doesn't know what I look like? I wish there were some people like that. That'd be very nice for me. And yet, for some reason, the communist Democrats in Atlanta made a mugshot of me. That's a mugshot because I said the election was rigged. And I believe it more strongly than ever. It was a rigged election. I know I'm your favorite president, and they make me look like a criminal, but it completely and totally backfired, as you probably read. Our campaign has raised over $10 million. The people get it. This is nothing but election interference. They want to interfere with our election so they can try and damage me with all these bullshit lawsuits that you see flying all over the place. <laughs> when the last time we heard Donald Trump talk about policy? When the last time we heard Donald Trump talk about, uh, you know, legislation he wants to implement? That man isn't talking about nothing he's going to do for the country, yet he's still leading in the polls. Mm -hmm. That's insane to me. Yes, well, it's kind of hard to do when you got 90 uh, charges, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> that, you're, that you're trying to fight. So uh, kind of hard to campaign, you know, and still and still talk about what needs to talk about, which is what a lot of the Republican candidates are saying, that this is a distraction uh, to the Republican Party and, and what it is that they believe is the better way to go opposed to uh, Joe Biden. Or maybe America doesn't care about that stuff like we think they do. Maybe America just mm -hmm. likes to be entertained. Amer maybe America just likes noise and attention because he's leading in the polls by a landslide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is crazy now. I, I think we still care about policy. I, th I, I can't th tell. This man winning and he ain't talking about nothing. Mm. Yeah. Well, let's talk about Mitch McConnell. Is he is he stepping down? Uh, no, he said he's not going no damn where. Uh, okay. Now, just to give a, a quick recap <laughs> on the latest update of Senator McConnell, of course, you know, we all know we've covered that here on the front page news about him freezing up twice. Mm -hmm. uh, then we uh, covered the story about his doctor saying that he was allegedly just fine. Charlemagne said that is cap. Uh, and yesterday, uh, Mitch McConnell came out and said, uh, you know, I'm not going no damn where. Uh, he said, I'm going to finish my term as leader and I'm going to stay uh, in the Senate. And so that's that. So we just gonna see how it all works out. Mitch McConnell gonna die on that hill, literally. Mm. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. Mm -mm. Wow. Yep. So that's the latest on that. All right. Well, that is your front page news. Thank you, Tesla. Absolutely. And make sure you subscribe to Tesla and Figaro's podcast. It's Great Shot No Chaser podcast on the Black Effect iHeartRadio podcast network. And follow Tesla and Figaro at Tesla and Figaro on all social media platforms. All right. When we come back, Tyrese will be joining Tyrese us. Tyrese Donnell Gibson. Yes. That's right. We're going to talk to him. He's uh, in town for Fuel Fest. Mm -hmm. Also, he has an album that he's been working on. Beautiful Pain. And a host mm -hmm. of other things. We got his music. We're going to play one of Tyrese records this morning. Love, let's play Love Transaction. Are you going to um, invite him to the Mental Health well, uh, Expo? Tyrese? Yes. We don't have enough time. It's only from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. So if you put wow. Tyrese on stage, Tyrese going to talk for at least three hours. Wow. Damn. At least three and hours. And probably heal some people and save some people from mental destruction. But anyway. If he's in town, I, I, I okay. wouldn't mind having Tyrese there. <clears throat> okay. All right. Well, we're going to kick it with Tyrese when we come back. Black Ties, The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Uh, in the morning. The Breakfast Club.